next big choppers we've got this thing here this is the Himalayan Imports Nepalese cookery made out of 5160 tool steel I take Mercedes springs hand chop them down into lumps of steel hand forge them hand make them and you end up with cookeries which the Nepalese Use. Now it's an everyday using tool for them. It's not just something that the soldiers, you know, the Gurkhas go out and use. This is everyday tool that they use in their fields and they prepare their food with and they chop their firewood with and every other imaginable task you can do, they do with these. It's various different shapes, bigger ones, smaller ones. This one is a double fluid one. It's covered in gunk. That's um, Renaissance wax stop it from rusting because it will rust very easily. It's rat tail. Um, you can get some which are full tang, and uh, maybe I would have got that if I'd known more about them at the time. But this seems pretty solid, and I've done some heavy chopping with it and not had any problems. The only thing with it, well, a couple of things with it. One thing is all up. You're looking at 1031 grams, and I've taken out the two little knives and the awl that it came with. So that's some weight taken out, and there I don't want to use them. Um, rusts easily. The sheath is bollocks. Um, it's traditional sheath, um, wooden, wrapped in buffalo hide. Two soft and if you're not careful if you put your hand here and pull the blade out it can chop through and there go your fingers um, one day I might replace it with a decent sheath but I'm not sure because the thing with it is that while it does chop beautifully and does cut wonderfully and you can use it as a draw knife and you can't really strike a ferro rod because it's all smooth but it's just too big and you walk around with this on your hip and people run and scream um, so it'll probably end up being a wall hanger which is a shame because it deserves to be used um, and occasionally I do drag it out and use it and then I think, why well, I'm not carrying it again, and I remember the weight, and then I remember the 17 inches, the 6 inch handle, the 11 inch blade, and it goes back into the box, and my arm and Which brings us to my chopper of choice. Sword Golic. The other sheath, which is functional. It's hollow there at the bottom for gunk to drop out of. It's got a retaining strap there. It goes on your belt here. All I can say about it is that it's functional. Not much better than the Condors. Well, no better than the Condors. As good. Maybe I'll get a good sheath made for it one day. And it deserves to have a good sheath because it's a beautiful knife. My Carter handles. Red liners, L6 tool steel. If you haven't used L6 before and you're wondering about it, it's fabulous stuff. It's tough as anything. And that's where this knife excels in. It's just incredibly, incredibly strong. It's only 4mm, 3.9mm, 4mm thick. Um, it's got a Brian Baker, who's the maker, convex grind on it. And this thing just slices and dices better than anything else I've got. You chop with it, hard wood, and you expect to come back and find it rolled or blunted or... No. Still hair popping sharp. It's not light. I think I mentioned that. 602, 600 grams, sheath, 
again probably get replaced one day. Um, 250-260 grams. Lengthwise, six for the handle, eleven for the blade, seventeen overall. Twin lanyard holes. I can't say enough good things about this. This knife would be what I would take with one of the smaller knives, and I don't think I'd need anything else. Sure, saw would be nice and. Maybe I'll go over my saws one day. Um, this thing's just the most amazing chopper I have. And the steel, while rusting easily, um, if looked after, just amazing. Oh, this is ambidextrous too. You can put it in either way. Doesn't really matter. Incredible, incredible, incredible job. Do you ever wondered about getting a Golic? This, I've got a Martindale as well. The Martindale is now something I use for chopping around concrete because it's just junk compared to this. Finally, a cold steel trail hawk has modified. Took the gunk off, gave it a proper sharpen, ground away some of the steel to give it a bit of a beard. It doesn't have any function, I just like the look of it. Um, overall, seven. Um, handle, 22. Obviously, you've seen how these work. Being a tomahawk as opposed to an axe, you drop it in. It's a hell of a chopper on small wood. I wouldn't want to chop down a tree with it. Um, but on small stuff, it's excellent. And the most useful feature about it for me is that because you can just take off this head, which is 1055 carbon steel, so it's fairly soft, is that you can then use it as a knife. Chop with it, slice with it, feather sticks with it, cut with it, do things with it, including making yourself a new handle. Um, so yeah, not anything you'd use for chopping down trees, but something that you would use for kindling, delimbing, handy tasks. Is it a one tool option? Not at all. Is it a good addition to your kit? Yes it is. Um, thing is you can throw it in your bag. It doesn't weigh much. 353 for the head with the sheath. 266 for the handle. And it packs up small too. You don't need to have a great big axe strapped to the back of your pack. That can go inside. That can probably go inside or on the outside and it doesn't look obnoxious. It's just a handy little thing. Is it a serious tool? Well I bought it because it was fun. And fun it is, but it'll be useful. I haven't decided enough about it yet to truly, truly make certain. But it's kind of fun. Thanks a lot, guys.